ah watu wangu wapawa mkoje lakini yeah, na hope mko fit so right now story ambayo nakujia nayo ni story kuhusiana na msanii wetu wa kigosho hapa nchini one of the best we have and one of the greatest we have tunamuita mwigai wa njoroge moja kati ya wasanii tajika na kipenzi cha wengi aswa tunazungumzia story na mkewe wa kwanza njeri wa mwigai pia ni mama mbaya mnampenda ni mama mbaya tunampenda tunamheshimu kwa jinsi ambavyo anajituma na ufanya kazi wake ni kitu cha kupigiwa mfano ila juzi Jeria amekuwa katika mahojiano na redio ya Kameme FM kituo cha Kameme FM chi, kipo chini i, ya kampuni ya Media Max na Jeri alipata kufunguka mengi na aswa kuhusiana na ndoa yake na mwigai wa Njoroge na kuhusiana na yeye kuweza kumkubali Stacy Mwigai ambaye ndiye mkewe wa pili Mwigai wa Njoroge. Nao nataka tuzamie kisa hiki chote na funzo ambalo linatokana na ile. Wakati mwingine unapoleka na mwanaume eh mwanaume utaja mambo fulani, huwa anaongea tu na, na ndimifiche akijaribu kuficha jinsi ambavyo mambo yanaweza kuwa huko mbele. Kulingana na Njeri wakiwa wameshaoana miaka miwili ndani ya ndoa ndipo mwigai alianza kutaja you know what naweza taka sana kuwa na mke wa pili jambo mbalo njeria lilichukulia tu kama mzaa kumbuka mamake njeri wa mwigai ambaye ni mama njeri mwenyewe ni second wife una get hiyo aspect na kuja nayo so njeri anasema yeye anaelewa changamoto ambazo zinatokana na polygamous marriage maana amelelewa inside one so she never wanted na hakuwaitarajia kwamba mimi nitakuja nijipate katika ndoa ambayo ya sisi ni wake wawili wala watatu katika ndoa moja mimi nataka ni mwenzi mme wangu peke yangu hilo ndilo lilikuwa azimio la njeri lakini mwigai alikuwa na mipango nyingine tofauti na hiyo mwigai alimchumbia Stacy mwaka uliopita katika harusi na uchumba ambao uliweza kuongelewa sana kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Na katika uchumba ule Njeria kupata kuhudhuria sherehe ya uchumba ya mwigai wa Njoroge na Stacy. Kitu ambacho kilizua mazungumzo makubwa sana. Lakini zile ma, yale maongezi na ndimi ambazo zilikuwa zinatokana na kisa kile zikapata kuzimwa baada ya mwigai wa Njoroge kuweza kuja kumunga mkono mama ya wanawe njeri mkewe wa kwanza katika hafla na sherehe ambayo njeri alikuwa ameipanga katika hoteli la the mark hotel mwezi eh ulikuwa ni mwezi disemba ya nikikumbuka ni mwezi disemba alikuwa kule anafumbua eh, mradi wake unaotambulikana kama woman of courage ambapo anafanya kazi ya philanthropist na kuweza kuwasaidia wale mabinti wasojiweza katika jamii na watu walio na changamoto kadhaa. So pale Mwigai alikuja kamzawadi Jeri kitita cha hela fulani, ya yeah, na kuziba fununu ambazo zimekuwa zikiendelea kwa muda. But now apart from that, eh, Jeri says she is the main reason why Mwigai wa Njoroge had to marry a second wife. Mm. Ataka nataka ni some this certain publication and guns to the said story. Now Kikuyu Hatis Mwigai wa Njoroge's first wife Gladys Jeri recently shared her experience surviving a polygamous marriage during an interview on Kameme FM. Having grown up in a family with a father having two households, the fear of polygamy from my childhood became a reality. Now Jeri narrated how she met Mwigai when he visited with a friend, leading to a quick marriage and the birth of their first daughter now 21 years. She go The couple found success in the music industry and settled in Mwihoko Gedurai 45. Kumbuka uh, during the death of one Mohiko Netsta who settled in Mwihoko. Mohiko is seen to be a anasemekana kuwa ni yeye alimsuta sana mwigai wa Njoroge kuweza kuja kuishi kule Mwihoko maana alikuwa rafiki wake wa karibu na walimba nyimbo nyingi pamoja. No, the happy marriage between Jerry and Mwigai took an unexpected turn when mwigai revealed his desire for polygamous marriage 
just two months into their marriage. Si haikuwa miaka mbili, ilikuwa ni miezi miwili tu baada ya kuoana, miaka 21 iliyopita. Akamwambia, you know what? Natamani sana kuwa na mke wa pili. Jeria kachukulia mzahaju. Now, just two months into the relationship, and now, despite initially thinking it was a joke, my guy married Queen Stacy nine years later, leaving Jerry alone with their children. Struggling with the heartbreak, Jerry turned to alcohol. Alibugia pombe kubugia, battling bitterness for two years. She admitted to contemplating kujiwa. Seeing I used to drink from morning to evening and at the time I was broke, I was bitter and I hated men. Now Nataka will drive a certain point from this story. After facing five challenging years alone, Jerry learned to cope and accepted the situation. Through she regret though she regrets her initial response, Mugai paid dowry for Stacy in a ceremony held in Deya Kembu County in August 2023. On Valentine's Day 2023, the trio surprised fans by displaying a loving and peaceful household. Mwigai expressed affection for both wives. Jerry's journey reflects resilience and growth in navigating the, complexi the complexities of a polygamous marriage. Mm. So, onona, uh, what wana uliza? You know, right now people always ask, how does Jerry act so normal? How does Jerry always behave so normal around Mugai Wanjoroge and Stacy, knowing that she is in a polygamous marriage? But Jerry tells them, Anambia, Rejo nyinyi mnaona tu product ya sasa mimi Jerry nikuwa nimerejea kuwa mzimu. Hamjui nilikuwa aji miaka nimengangana kukubali situation ya polygamous marriage kwa zaidi ya miaka kuminambili. Ndomana, mna niona jinsi nilivo, nimepambana, nimejipigania na ndomana nilivo hivo. So, watu hudhara, unanju kilinganisha kisa cha jeri mwigai na kile cha Hedy Derito. You know, Hedy had that public outro. Yeji alikuwa na mtandao wa kijamishi, yeda platform ambayo ange come out kukol out Samido baada ya kugundua Samido wako na mpango wa kando. The reason I'm comparing this is because these are artists and these are two women who have two different stories but they correlate somehow. Zina relate. So when you look at Hedy, Hedy realized Samido is cheating. Now, alikuwa meka fungi andani. But now the second person, the second wife, ame kuja meka in public. Me as Edi, I have a platform already. Nikona platform, yenye naeza toka nionge. So Edi saw it's better kuongea. After kuongea, Samido comes and counters the response of Edi. So inakarika majibishano na mashindano kwenye mitendawa ya kijami. And there is nothing so wrong like you every time. Munaweka biashara zenu za ndoa na marriage. How to the public? You know, has tuta consume tu. Tupo hapo tu. Tuta consume. Eh? So, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, kisaka chanjeri na hedi kinapaswa kukufunza kitu kimoja. Mwanaume kama ni polygamous, satasalia kuwa polygamous, the way in control. Jerry went on a drinking spree for five years. Akikunywa kulewa morning to evening. And then Anna Hela, she's broke and the husband has money. But one thing, mwigai alikuwa mesha mjengea. Na alikuwa memuacha u. Kwa boma. Akaenda kujenga kwa stay sinako. Now Jerry came to realize herself. Akamua, you know what? Nikona numbers, nikona watu wananipenda, nikona watu wananijali. So why don't I settle for this? And that's when aliamua kuseto, ndiyo mwigai ya karyalize, wait a minute, so Jerry is okay right now. Ame seto, ame rudi fiti, oh, ame anza kurembeka tena. Naiza rudi kwa Jerry wangu mimi. Haka rudi kwa Jerry wake. And inshallah, mugura yaka kazaliwa. Have you seen mwigai is and Jerry's last born daughter with? She is an angel, a perfect definition of beauty. She is so smart, a small little girl. I think she's five or four. 
very fine, very beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Products of marriage. Polygamous marriage. And you know Stacy, Stacy na kwanga mtu live tu ananga mambo mengi. So Stacy is not like Karen. <laughs> Karen mtapa buta kimbizana mtaambiana mtatukanana Yeah but kitu moja unapaswa ujifunze na rugano rwajeri ni kwamba as long as it is a man who wants to be polygamous na nakubali ya kwamba nitamuona nitakuwa na wewe huyu atakuwa mke wa pili wewe utakuwa mke wa kwanza mtakuwa mkiishi hivi niko ready ku provide niko ready kufanya hiki niko ready kufanya kile watoto nipo tayari kusomesha wewe wacha parua njamingi ni nini nyingine unataka wewe mwanaume yako na kila kitu ako ready kufanya kila kitu so wewe just kubali bana wewe just kubali mm ndio mambo alivyo sasa wini fm show ke Boto lipo na kukumbusha usibanduke kabla ya kusubscribe. Tuungane katika video zetu zijazo mimi. Ukipenda niite. FK Mwenda.